Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna find out what you need to hear right now, okay? What's being hidden from you or what do your spirit team uh, need, need you to, to know? Um, let's find out. We have first this amethyst pile one, red jasper pile two, the citrine pile three, and the amazonite pile four. Um, I'm doing a live reading. Um, it's gonna be collective, I think. I don't know, we'll see what spirit comes up with, but I'm doing it on Wednesday the 28th. So if you guys are interested, please check out Patreon. Lots of good stuff over there. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me over on Patreon. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love you guys so much. Also, please, thank you so much for helping me with paid readings right now, coming in for coaching, guys. I love you so much. And it really just, you, you blow my mind with the support and the love. I just, I can't thank you enough. Thank you guys so much for helping me right now. Um, let's get started. Hi guys, welcome to your reading. Those who chose the Amethyst Pile 1, welcome and hello. Let's find out a little bit about what you need to know, okay? So what do you need to hear at this time? Well, you chose the card, discernment. And then we have lucky moment under it. So we have the number 10, discernment and lucky moment. So your overall theme. Hmm. I think something is about to be offered to you. It may have already been offered to you. Somebody might have given you an opportunity. I'm hearing an opportunity to shine, to rise and shine. There's something about you getting noticed for something. Yes. You're about to be noticed for something. I heard a star. You're a star in the making. Okay, pile one. Um, you're a star in the making. You're being offered something. You know what I didn't even realize is this is the crystal that normally has, it looks like the all-seeing eye in it. You, I think this is the one. It doesn't look like it in this one, but it's almost like you need to really use your third eye right now to see through things, like th see through illusions right now. I do actually feel somebody has very good intentions for you though, pile one. Very good intentions. I heard the name Amanda. Okay, let's keep going. Very good intentions for you. Also, I'm seeing a tarot reader right now too, so you might be wanting to start your own business in reading cards. I heard, I heard spirits say you do it in a level of sophistication that nobody has ever done before. Listen, listen, I really want to tell pile one, somebody here wants to start their business and reading cards. I'm telling you, oh my God, I'm telling you right now. It's time. It's showtime. And I'm hearing you're really good at it. It's like, you've got this natural, I don't know. It's like a, it's like a je ne sais quoi, or it's like a, um, Something to do. Let me let me see. Spirit, give me one on this. Just one on this one message. Then I'm moving on. What is it? Life changing epiphany or experience. You can't make it up. Somebody's about to offer you a life changing. It might be working with a reader or maybe collaborating with somebody. Lapis lazuli. And then we have play here. Have fun. Celebrate. Don't be so serious. That's what it is. You have like this really cool personality, and that everybody wants to be around you. Stillness. Lake. Um, it feels like to me, the reason that this person is reaching out to you, it doesn't have to be you're a reader guys, but somebody wants to reach out to you and offer you something because you're really calm amidst a storm, amidst a chaos. Okay. When it looks all cloudy and shit, you're just like, nah, I've got my son. I'm good. I, I got, I got sunlight. You could have a child, a son, a literal kid. Um, no, I'm good. I'm good. It, um, let's find out about this opportunity. Let's find out about what you need to hear about this. So what do you need to hear right now? Ready to love again. Compassion, eight of swords. I definitely see that you're like feeling like you're not ready. You're like, I don't know if it's time. I feel you're a little bit worried, a little bit scared. I feel like somebody very empathic is coming into your life though. Very empathic. They could love crystals. I'm getting crystals. I'm seeing crystals here in my mind's eye. Could be a business that you're starting with crystals too. I don't know. Yeah, this person's incredibly psychic and very in tune. Their crown chakra is extremely open. I'm actually hearing they send you telepathy. Wow, yeah, okay, and amethyst too. They send you telepathy. Like, I'm hearing telepathic downloads come from this person. A lot of purple. Your favorite color could be purple or theirs could. Um, in fact, maybe that's why you subconsciously picked the purple amethyst. I don't know. They're telling you something. What do you need to hear? Can I know more, Spirit? What are they telling my viewer? Yeah, it's like a business partnership or something, guys. We have mirror. Who or what is triggering you? You can't make it up. I'm really getting you're triggered right now. Like somebody's coming into your life and you're triggered. You're triggered right now. Trust your path. It's like you can't trust it. You're like, I don't know if I, should I trust it though, Jenna? If you knew you'd be supported, what would you do? 
If you knew this person would love you unconditionally, or this business would take off, or this idea, this endeavor, whatever it is, would just be so freaking lucrative. Like, you would have so much time to yourself, time with your kids, vacation, like whatever it is to start this gig here. What would you do? I think you need to start putting yourself in that position. Like, what would I do? Well, you'd probably go canoeing every weekend. I don't know. You'd probably do something really super fun. Anyway, you're being triggered. You're being triggered by somebody. And I feel it's a love partner for some of you. You are being triggered though. I knew it. Ready to love again. I was like, dude, you feel so trapped in a way. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can get more. Um, Spirit, can you tell me, please, why? Why are they feeling this way? King of Swords. Because I think you were with like a lot of narcissists in the past who would take advantage of the flow of energy that you have to put towards a project. Um, Cause I'm seeing Empress in my mind's eye and I'm seeing like prosperity, be at home. If you guys, okay, 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 okay. It might even be that you're being offered something by someone other than your spouse or other than somebody you've been with for a really long time. I'm getting King of Swords, like this person's kind of maybe a little bit more on the logical end, whoever you were with. And now you're wanting to do something at home. I'm getting a stay at home business. That's what I'm hearing. Stay at home mom business, something like that. It's like, you want to be at home making money. Look at this prosperity, be at home. You can't make it up. Um, but it's like, why do you feel this way? I think you feel a little scared because somebody took advantage of you in the past is what I'm getting. Um, yeah, very much so very much so. And you know what it is? I just got a download. It's new love on the horizon for pile one that this person almost wants to take care of you or they really want to provide for you. They want to make things easier. They don't want to take everything from you. They don't want to take like your freedom. They don't want to take your independence. They don't want to take your business ideas. It's nothing like that. They just want to take your burdens. They want to take like, I heard take your time. I just want to take your time. Oh, my heart. It's so cute, but you guys got burned. Look at this, eight of swords and the king of swords. I'm just done. I'm literally, you cannot make this shit up. Look at this. Eight of Swords, King of Swords, Eight of Swords, King of Swords. You were with a narcissist before. That's the problem. That's the problem. And they tied, this is like, this is giving me, somebody used you for their own gain, their own selfish gain, a narcissist. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Totally been there. Understand that completely, babe. So right now it's almost like, you're like, I don't know. You, 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 somebody's coming at you and it's like, it's too good to be true. And you don't believe it because of the abuse that you've been through. You've been through something really, really, I, I kind of feel like this narcissist trapped you at home and they, you had no resources is what I'm hearing. You had no resources, no time to yourself, no, like, you know what I mean? And it's almost like you guys don't trust that that is over. Six of Pentacles. That somebody could really, I'm really getting somebody wants to offer you a business opportunity or something to like make money. It could even be spirit. It could be your spirit guides doing this to get you out of this situation. Yeah. Yeah, I totally understand. That's when spirit found me. I was so, 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 so bad. Um, I had $300 to my name, no car, no home, no, nothing in my name, no friends, no family, no nothing. I didn't leave the home for months at a time. Like I completely understand like what it feels to be trapped by a narcissist. And I'm telling you right now, somebody else wants to come in and they're not a narcissist. In fact, I feel this one, this person is really kind of sweet. Um, what is this person like the fool? Yeah, they're young. This person's young. I think that you're like, is this young and naive? Page of Swords, Page of Wands, and we just had the Page of Pentacles. Girl, you cannot make this shit up. It's almost like they're offering you something and you're like, this is too good to be true. This is too good to be true. Because they're coming through really young, naive, kind of fresh. What I'm hearing is fresh off the, off the market. I don't, I don't know what that means. <laughs> maybe, maybe they just broke up with somebody. I'm not sure. I'm not, they're coming through as young, innocent, kind of not naive. No, not naive. This person has a lot of skill. I heard trade. They're, they're good at what they do. They might be young and naive, but honey, sometimes... The universe loves young and naive. Oh, uh, you cannot make this shit up. You literally can't. You literally cannot. This might be multiple people. I feel like you're going to help multiple people. And they're all young. Like, I don't know what this is. Maybe it's a daycare. Maybe it's, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But they're coming in offering something. And it's like, you, you don't trust it because of the age gap or because of the naivety or something. It's not even naive. They're not naive. This person is smart. Business savvy. I keep hearing they're business savvy. Run. I heard run a business. They run or they run a business or they want to run a business with you. The star. Did I not fucking say it? Literally called it. Literally called it. Girl, yes, I did. Literally called it. They want to make you a star, boo. I'm telling you right now. But it's like you guys have been through, oh my God, so much. I don't even know why I didn't see 10 as the 10 of wands or the 10 of swords with this discernment card. Like, oh my God almighty. You've been through the ringer though. <clears throat> 
Yes, with emotionally manipulative vampires is what I just heard. We have Aquarius here. You could be an aqua. This person really wants to give you something amazing. A super tangible is what I'm hearing. This is like something you can run with. I don't know what that means, but I keep hearing you can run with it. You can run with it. Is it like a shoe or like a, I don't know, like a outfit company or something? I'm not sure, guys, but it's to get you, it's to get you what, spirit? Thank you, Jesus. Can't make it up, beach. Collaboration. It's to get you business. It's to get you clientele. It's to get you something to get your prosperity up and running, like your business up and running. This could even be like, hey, I'll invest in you if you do this for me. But it's almost like you've been around so many narcissists before. But, they, but ask yourself this. Did your narcissist believe in your project or this ambition that you've got? No, these people do. Could be a, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. No, these people do. And I'm getting there's multiple. Is what I'm hearing, three or more? No, but your narcissist never believed, babe. They never believed. We have the Hierophant, or the, excuse me, the Hermit. Page of Pentacles again. Dude, offering you something, offering you something. And it's to get you out of this feeling of like, I'm alone, I'm never gonna get anywhere. Girl, I'm telling you, I fucking get it. Because when Spirit found me, honestly, like I started, I started, um, well, <laughs> I started hearing voices. Um, and I remember I told my husband who, we were together almost 10 years and I told him, I'm hearing voices, I'm hearing voices. And he called me crazy. Um, but I mean, I had no idea at the time what I, what I was, that I was a psychic. I, I, all I knew is I had died. I had a near-death experience. So my gifts came online, but around him, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. He's a Gemini. Like, I'm sorry. I love Geminis. But guys, it's really hard for you sometimes to like, you know, understand the more, I don't know, magical side of things. And so he actually... Um, no, no, I mean, we divorced. So I feel like that's what's happening here is you guys are recognizing like, wow they technically never wanted my business to prosper or they never wanted something to go right for me and these people coming in do why why do they i heard because you're a star page of pentacles again girl i cannot i cannot i'm about to just stroke out right now we got the hermit again no shit guys i'm just done i'm literally i cannot i cannot it's like there you really know some shit about some shit too with the hermit like i feel you yeah your level of discernment is so on point and look at this to a cup squirrel to a cup. They really want to offer you shit, but it's like you, you, you almost feel like, nah, there's no way. It can't be that good, Jenna. It just can't. It can't. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. How is this influencing you? Um, yeah, how is this influencing you? I think it's this opportunity. How's this opportunity? In I swear to everything. I swear to everything. These are randomly drawn and shuffled. I do not. They're face down. I do not look at these. I swear to you. Queen of ancient wisdom did i not just say oh my god girl i just said it i fucking said it i just said you know some shit about some shit and here you have the ancient wisdom card spirit guide i've been literally telling you about my sp i'm just done i'm just done. i cannot i can't damn i'm good spirit guide guys i'm telling you it could be your spirit guides offering you this opportunity i heard you know too much to be holding it in you know too much to keep it a secret you know way too much Okay. I heard about narcissistic abuse, some of you. You know, way too much. I heard about greedy cor corporate corporate greed. I've been hearing a whole bunch of things. You know way too much about way too much to be silent. So let's get one more. This opportunity, why is this influencing? It'll make you money. Ghost people. Faceless ghosts and the haunted girl. Na, 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 na. Why did that come out? Sweet results await, bee spirit. And then you have the wasp. Why do you have the wasp and the bee? I'm, I'm getting vibes from that wasp. I've never seen it before like this. That wasp is like, it looks kind of, oh, I don't know. Compared to the bee, it's just not. Look, at it, it's like drawing the life force from the bee. Do you see that? Plump, beautiful, has a crown on it, right? Like it's drawing, nah, th that's why. You know too much is what I'm hearing. You know people who have, you have, this is, you are a sufferer of narcissistic abuse and I'm hearing, you're gonna like do something where you talk about this. You're gonna talk about how the divine saved you from a narcissist, that's what I'm getting. We have the number three plus four is seven, seven and then 10 again, Three, uh, six plus four. 10, 10 and seven. I'm getting an end of a cycle but the divine helps you get out of it. This is you working with your guides. They're going to help you make money, by the way. 
I'm not just blowing smoke. I feel like you guys, you guys are really not, you're feeling like not ready because you're like, I don't even believe you. I, I feel you guys projecting your bullshit, no offense, but onto me, like I'm the one lying to you. I'm not lying to you. Narcissists are lying to you. Don't bring that bullshit here. Like, oh, this is bullshit. Whatever. Whatever. I work magic. I throw cards. I give you free advice. You don't want to take it? Don't. I, I, I really am at this point, I think, where I'm just like, you know what? I'm not here to, to stroke your ego. You want to sit in a state, a sorry state, I'm hearing, that is not my problem. And it certainly is not your guide's problem because your spirit team is trying to help you out of this mess. I'm not even here. Nah, I'm not. I'm not. Take that projection. You, you've been surrounding yourself with low vibrational, toxic, what seems like uh, energy vampires. I'm not one of them. I am literally not your enemy. So do not come at me energetically uh, telling me that, no, this is bullshit. It's not going to work like that. Fine. You've already made up your mind, haven't you? So it's not going to. Let's keep going. This is going to be... Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That was confirmation. How do you find more clarity? Take the leap of faith truth and the chariot girl i cannot i cannot what i said is i'm preaching truth so if that triggered you i don't give a shit i really don't give a shit we have the mirroring card and honestly the one triggering you is probably me and then we have chariot here take a leap of faith you need to move out you need to move you need to leave you need to leave you're a truth seeker and a truth speaker and i do not feel like you're going to be liked very much longer where you're at and if you bring that toxicity into a new partnership or a new collaboration or something no, people will probably call you out. I kind of hope they do. Um, because one, I don't deserve that a, a disbelief. The people who are judgmental and not open-minded to magic, they're projecting their doubts and insecurities onto you. If you've been harassed and targeted that long, you actually will pick up on those behaviors, on those traits. You're not a narcissist, but you will pick up on those traits. And if you start projecting that at other people, nah. I hope you get called out. I, I hope you get called out. And I honestly hope that you're the one calling out a narcissist too, as you see it, because this is bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do a free reading for people. Wow, and there are sirens outside too, so it is getting steamy. Anyway, listen, I do free readings. Like, you don't have the faith to move forward. That's your problem, not mine. You need to leave this situation. Your guides are really adamant about it, and you've been knowing it for a minute. So I'm not even here to sugarcoat shit. What you must do next, boundaries. Thank you, Jesus. Medicine man or woman, like you need to realize that you need healing, but you're also a healer. You can't stay there forever. Wow, page of cups. Girl, that is like the fifth page, the fifth or sixth page here. Wow. Okay, what do you, what do you need to do next? You need to really work with spirit, but I'm getting the pages. Like people are going to come in to help you too. You need to draw boundaries, honey. It is inevitable. Like... People don't like you when you start ascending and doing better than they do. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't make the rules. That is just reality. Medicine man. Be generous of spirit. I'm really getting spirit is being generous with you. Could be a Leo. You could be a Leo. Another 10. Three plus seven. It's the end, boo. It's the end. Over complete. 19 minutes, 19 seconds. You cannot make that shit up. One plus nine. 10. 10, 10, 10, 10. Life lessons. You've wrapped it up. You've wrapped it up. You've broken the chain. You're done. You're done. Like changing epiphany, I am done. I am done because I'm starting to get angry. And I'm telling you I'm getting angry because somebody watching is like pissed at me that I'm delivering truth. I don't fucking think so. I don't think so. In the same way that when you, Pile One, the healer, the empath, whoever is here getting targeted and bullied by a narcissist, you go to speak truth and this person is hurting you. That's not fair. Like that shit ain't fair. And I call it out. I'd call it out to their face. I'd call it out to anybody's face. It's, it's harassment. So if you don't believe that your life can get better, cool, not my problem. Like I'm here delivering a truth from your guides. You don't want to believe it? Don't, not my problem. Okay, I will sit here and still be a magical unicorn whether you like it or not, whether you believe or not. So it got a little rowdy, but I feel like pile one needs to be a little rowdy in this narcissistic dynamic you got here because this shit is bullshit, okay? I don't like it. And I'm not accepting these vibes. So anyone who sent me evil eye just now, like you can have that shit back. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you later, bye-bye. Hi guys, welcome to your reading pile to those who chose the red Jasper. This is the reading that you chose. So we have this card with a secret hidden message under it. Extremes and then support. Extremes, your card is extremes, which wowza. As I was tuning in, wow, look at all this red though. It could be something with your root chakra. 
Okay, when I'm hearing drink more water, or if you are drinking water, congratulations, it's working. I don't know why that came through. Also, another message, you will be getting menopausal support. So something about like if you're having hot flashes and stuff, like you're gonna get you're gonna get support with that. I also am getting like your root chakra is blocked. There is some sort of something or other going on with your root um, chakra here, which could lead to like constipation or feeling ungrounded, like really just like low energy, lethargy. Own your divine power. Whew. Replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. If any of you have felt like you are like coming across too extreme for people, like kind of ungrounded, yeah, kind of ungrounded, like you like like you lash out at people or something like that. I'm hearing spirits say like you're doing it for support. Like you're not you're yeah you're you're it's not like you're the devil. Okay, is what I'm getting. You're 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 like you're just being supportive. So own your divine power. What does this mean? How would this? What would this look like? Nothing will come of the situation. Completion. Literally telling someone nothing can happen. Like completion ending something completely nothing will come of it seeing clearly that you might just be two opposite ends of the spectrum okay you and this person or you in this community whatever it is because it could be like a whole support community could be totally could be um mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so let's see what do you need to hear i heard you're gonna know about something like an herb or a tincture or something i don't know guys i'm not a doctor but like about menopause like something will come in soon to help you with that if you're going through the transition anyway i wanted to tell you about that okay Red Jasper, why is extremes your overall energy? Let us see. What do you, dude, you literally just had the empowerment card and the first card you have out and then question is empowerment. You're just empowering yourself is what I'm hearing. You're just empowering yourself. Own your divine power and make time for self-care. You're just empowering yourself. Taking care of yourself is essential right now. And this says stop the codependent people pleasing. Empower yourself. But it's like extremes. Like, I don't know, maybe you're just like afraid that you went from people pleaser, like kind of doormat to the next day being like super ruthless. Mm-hmm. Like overnight. It just might be such a drastic change that people think you're unhinged or ungrounded or something like that. You need to hear. It's time to empower yourself is what I'm hearing. To get, get out of your feminine energy and, oh, yes, strength and get much more into your divine masculine. Like, girl, that is the card of empowerment. Strength card. You could be a Leo. It's, it's time. It's time. Like, I heard quit kicking around. Like, quit dicking around, too, is what I heard. Did somebody... Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. But uh, I heard that. Quit dicking around. Which is, um, I think, from, from Elle Woods. I think. Does she say that in the um, Legally Blonde movie? I need to quit dicking around. I, I can't remember the, I can't remember. Was it her boyfriend that said that? I'm not sure. Either way, I'm really getting, I just saw 3.33 on the clock and I feel like you guys need to stop dicking around. If the shoe fits, wear it. Three of pentacles, eight of swords. Bro, this came up in pile one. You might want to go listen. If you came from pile one, stop dicking around. Three of pentacles, eight of swords, the exact same cards. Listen, I'm telling you, so many people right now in the collective are so worried to work with a new collaboration. Why? Do you not trust yourself? You don't have to trust eight billion people on the planet. You have to trust you. Do you not trust you? Because it looks like that to me. We have the death card here, meaning an ending needs to happen. An ending needs to happen. It could be a community, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what this is, but an ending needs to happen and you freaking know it. You freaking know it. And it's time for you to own your divine power. And if that comes out a little loud, a little, a little, you know, ruthless, so fucking be it. Okay. So fucking be it. So fucking be it. We have the three of swords. Like, I feel like you guys are so afraid to break hearts. But listen, the ego is the only thing that would take offense to truth. Think about it. The higher self, the higher self feeds on truth. The higher self loves truth. The higher self is the one speaking said truth. You are afraid of breaking somebody's ego. Could be a Scorpio. Could be definitely queen of wands and the king of cups. It's like you guys right now, you're, you're like a, a, you might be on opposite ends of something here of a chaos conflict, some sort of something or other. You're like afraid to hurt this person's ego or something. But like, I feel like you're, you need to realize if you want a strong man or woman in your life, they're built. You know what I'm saying? Like they're built. It, it, these are relationships that are built. It's like, if you can't handle my truth, you probably can't handle me. So let's not date. 
You know what I'm saying? So I feel like for you guys, it's right now a level of empowerment that kind of looks like, I don't know, she's gone local or something, you know? But that, 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 that's your mind. That's your mind. That's in your mind. We have 5.55 on the clock, meaning this change, this big change happening for you. It is like you need to remain grounded, but it almost looks like you're not grounded. You very well are grounded. It just It's appearing like that to other people who are projecting their bullshit onto you. So let's keep going. This is going to be... How is, why, why do you need to empower yourself right now? Commitment, unnecessary worries. It's definitely about leaving something behind. Look at this, I said two opposite ends of the spectrum. Guys, I don't look at these cards, I swear to you. It's like you and this person just cannot see eye to eye. And it's like, it's unnecessary worry. Okay, so the citrine is really great for confidence issues. That's what it is. It's either they're having confidence issues or because you're so intrinsically connected and it's like you're enmeshed, they're, they're having confidence issues, you're having con confidence issues. Pile three is gonna be citrine, so you might wanna look at that pile, you don't have to. Why is unnecessary worries here? Yeah, what I just said, I was about to burp too. So whatever it is, you're so tied energetically to this person that you're picking up on their solar plexus issues, their lack of confidence in themselves. And so that's why you feel like you're overdoing it with the whole like power, like laser focus, like, nah, don't talk to me like that. Or no, I don't want you in my life. Or no, fuck that. Like, fuck that. You are so afraid to say this because you're like, is it ruthless though, Jenna? Must be nice for you to say. You don't have anybody in your life. I'd fucking tell them off in a heartbeat. She, if I don't like the way somebody's treating me, I speak up for myself. Yeah, nine of swords. But you right now are coming through a little bit worried to do so, a little bit scared. Are you that dependent on this person that you can't speak your truth? And why? Why are we this codependent on anyone? Why? We have the hangman here. Like, it feels like you guys are stuck in this relationship. Look at this. The lovers and queen of swords. It's like you really need to start telling this lover or partner of yours, whoever this is, you need to start laying down the truth and you're not, so you're stuck. You're afraid of offending them. But again, the only thing you're offending is their, their ego at this point. We have the moon here. Why is the moon here? Seven of Pentacles. There's a subconscious blockage for pile two. There's a subconscious fear that they'll leave you if you get loud, if you say something. Like, I'm not saying scream, guys, and I'm not saying abuse the person. I'm saying just tell them your truth. I'm hurt because you did this. I'm hurt because you said that you would do that, and you didn't. I'm hurt because you cheated, and you said you were into this. <laughs> Whatever the case is, you have a subcon... Look at this, girl. You cannot make that shit up on the bottom of the deck. You have a fear of confrontation. You have a subconscious fear of confrontation. So you don't ever offer this communication. Instead, you hold it back, eight of wands in reverse. You can't make it up. You have, a, you, have, you have a fear of confrontation because you think that they'll leave you. You need to get to that point where even if they do, you're still like, nah, I was right. I was right, and I was right to say it. Look, anybody who could, you, you want someone strong, right? If you want someone strong, subconsciously, that's not what you're telling the universe you want. You're telling the universe that you want someone who is going to, I don't know, even cheat or something. I'm not sure what this is, but you're, you're telling the universe that you're, you're going to settle because you refuse to lay down boundaries. You refuse to do anything about it. It's not my problem, guys. Don't even shoot the messenger. I mean, it's my problem right now as I'm in the energy, but like after the reading, it's not my problem. You've got to stand up for yourself and say like, this is not fair. I don't like the way I'm being treated here. And now we have, why is this influencing you so much? Compassion. You can't make it up. I literally heard. Well, I'm not going to be very compassionate then. Is this not compassionate though? Okay. Then no. Compassion. Work through your fears. Girl, you cannot. I literally fucking called it. This could be a Scorpio you're dealing with or you're a Scorpio. Work through your fears of not being compassionate. It's almost like, dude, sometimes love looks like tough love. Sometimes love is like, hey, don't talk to me like that ever again. Because one, I didn't treat you like that. Two, I don't appreciate it. And three, um, I'm your girlfriend. Like, I should be treated like a goddess. Got it? You guys are afraid right now. This is why it's extremes. It's like, I really want to lay down the lodge and I really want to say it, but it's like they're going to see me as not very compassionate. Um, what we need to see ourselves as is truth. And if you right now are withholding that truth, then... You're doing more harm than good in this relationship anyway. And it's not really going to go anywhere at this point. It's, it's like, it's like consciously you're saying, I really wish they'd talk to me more. I really wish we'd have this, but then you're not, your, your subconscious thoughts, your unconscious thoughts are like, Hey, yeah, but, but like, I don't really, I, 
they're gonna think I'm like a bitch or something. 11, 11 on the clock. You might even think this person's like your twin flame or something. Tower, you are so afraid. Four of pentacles. You are so afraid of letting this person go or like having them leave you that you withhold all of this truth. This could even look like constipation. Seriously, the root chakra is what I just heard. Like, like this guy looks constipated, okay? You got it. That's an energetic thing, by the way. Constipation. A release needs to happen energetically first before it happens physically in your body. So what I'm getting here with the tower, it's like you need to just tell them, this is not fair. I don't appreciate it. Not fair. What the fuck? It's not fair. You need to like stop with, with you know, you need to stop because this could even be leading to constipation for real though. <clears throat> and I am feeling it in my throat chakra. So it's like, you guys are so afraid to rock the boat because why? Because you don't want to be alone. Girl, you could do so much better. If this person leaves you, listen to me. If this person leaves you high and dry, okay? Because you tell your truth and you say something like, hey, I don't fucking think so. Like that was rude. And they say something like, how dare you? How dare you? And then they leave you. Honey, good riddance, let them go. Okay. The universe will reward you with your truth telling with somebody way better, way stronger, not so much in their ego with the fragile ego. Okay. It's literally, it's a fear of conflict, guys. That's what I'm getting here. A fear of conflict. So how is this in, wait, what that, what, what's this one? How to find more clarity. Oh my God. In the same, dude, you've got to listen to pile one. In the same question, the same card came up. Take a leap of faith. How to find more clarity. Take a leap of faith. Lighten your load. You literally can't make it up. You need to let this off your chest, girl. You need to say some shit about some shit, okay? You really do. You really do. And I'm not here to people please. I'm not here to people please. It could definitely be a Scorpio. I just saw 13, 13 on the clock. Or you could be a Scorpio. Or they could be 30 years old, maybe. Lighten your load. Take a leap of faith. You might be surprised. You may actually, you know what I'm hearing. You might be surprised to find out that they agree. And they like that you laid down the law. She. Sometimes men like that, honey. Judgment. Sometimes they like that you lay down the law. Sometimes they like that you call judgment on their ass, on their selfish ways. <laughs> Get you some. So this person is going to really, I think, like that you, well, are standing up for yourself. I think what you have seen in the past is that as soon as you would speak strongly and boldly, people would ghost you. Lovers. Exactly. Again, with the Queen of Swords, you would speak like this to lovers and then they would leave you. And the reason that they would leave you would be because they were so intimidated that they had to step up. Most of them didn't want to step up. This person might surprise your ass, okay? We have Gemini, Leo energy here. This person may surprise the shit out of you, honey. They might, they, they might even surprise the shit out of me right now. Ten of Wands. I feel like you really need to let this go. You really need to let this burden out by speaking your truth. Five of Cups. And if you lose it, it was really meant to be gone then, wasn't it? Not, I'm not even sugarcoating this. Like I, got, I literally got to this question and in pile one, two, I said the same thing. Like, I ain't your mama. I'm not sugarcoating shit. You want to be treated like a goddess. Start treating people the way they need to treat you. Start, start laying down the law and saying, I don't think so. I didn't treat you like that. Don't treat me like that. Self-respect looks like teaching people how to treat you. I didn't treat you like that. How dare you? I literally gave and gave and gave and you gave nothing. How dare you? However, if they leave, like I, I, I used to do this all the time. Like it would take me two to three weeks to draw the first motherfucking boundary in a relationship. And then I get super pissed when I would finally have a list of 20 things they did wrong. And I'd be like, Bleh. then they'd leave. Cause I was like, look, I didn't actually like that you did this this time. I don't like that you did that. I don't like that you did that. I wasn't drawing boundaries from the get go. I wasn't distancing myself and drawing boundaries and giving myself some time either. That's what a healthy relationship would do. Like you would have time to be by yourself enough to revise the situation anyway. If you guys are too close together with this person, um, not only are you having solar plexus issues, confidence issues because of them, but it's actually becoming much more pronounced. This confidence issue, I think if you distance yourself, you would actually see that, wow, it was them the whole time, their confidence problem, not mine. Cause you guys used to speak truth like this. I don't know what happened in this connection, but you used to speak truth like this. Um, and now it's just not happening. I don't know why. I mean, I know why. I've just called it out. What you must do next. I swear to God, I don't look at these cards. I swear to everything. I swear. Strength. You have empowerment. Now you've got strength. And then we have be at home. 
Be in your own energy is what I'm hearing. Be at home in your own energy. Can I get one? Butterflies might be important. Ace of Pentacles. Why is be at home here? Be in your own energy, bro. Right now, the star. Like, you need time to mend. You need time to heal. And you need time to feel what's, feel, feel what's real is what I just heard. You need time to feel what's real. Because this is like an illusion. It's a lot of illusion energy. Yes, the moon, girl style. That is literally the card of illusion. I'm telling you, there's too much illusion around this shit. So you could literally be constipated though because I, I, I do say shit a lot, but not like this. <laughs> Listen, if you have root chakra blockage, that is your sign that handle that shit. Six of swords. I think you're going to. And I think you're going to walk away from this person or at least temporarily. I'm only getting temporary. I don't think this is permanent. Not for you and this person, especially if it's a Scorpio or, a Scorpio or maybe an Aquarius maybe a Leo. I'm not getting like a total breakup. I just think you need to lay down the law, honey. Okay. Okay. They may secretly love it. Can I be like turned on even? She, I don't know your life, but look, this person I think is a lot stronger, a tough cookie. I think they're a lot stronger than you're giving them credit for. Okay. Anyway. And I think you're not giving yourself enough credit as to how powerful you are as well. Okay. Anyway, guys, I love you so much. I hope that reading helped. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello everyone. Those who chose Citrine Pile 3. Hi. Okay. I'm getting so many downloads. My, my neighbors upstairs, they just got like really loud as soon as I tuned into your energy. And then I went into this weird trance, um, which normally doesn't happen. It used to, you know what's so funny? When I would be in my marriage, I, I, I would go off into space and I would like, I remember my husband, he would do this to my face and I would be like just staring. And I'd be like, what? I can hear you, I can hear you. And for the longest time he thought that that was like some sort of seizure or something, but I'm actually thinking there's a spiritual element to that. I don't know. I'm not a doctor, so you might want to get that checked out. Shit, I don't know. But I feel like there's, you guys go easily into trance. I think that's one of your like psychic gifts, pile three, is you're easily going into trance. Be very, very careful who you're around though. Because I think that you're tuning into your psychic gifts right now, especially for pile three. And if there are people outside of you that are, I don't know, disturbing your peace, really kind of narcissistic even, um, they might have like a lot of shadow energies around them and stuff. I don't know. I'm getting like this vibe that you can go to a trance and almost see what those shadow figures see. Or you're, you're like taking on energy that isn't yours. And it's almost like you're going into something that is not yours. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm uh, probably not. But anyway, um, we have Citrine, Pile 3. And also too, I'm getting a headache for Pile 3. So your third eye is open very much. It's starting to. It's starting to. I did hear it's going to get worse before it gets better. I'm so sorry, but it will be a headache. There will be a headache. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Until you see clearly that it might be other people too. And you kind of need to be by yourself so that you don't pick up on other people's energies. Because I really actually feel like pile three is a psychic. Um, but more than that, I'm even getting your like a medical medium. Yeah, yeah. You can pick up on other people's ailments and what they feel. What they feel. And if you're around someone and you keep getting a headache or migraine at work or something and you don't know what it is, you're like, is it my computer screen? Am I straining? You might want to start looking around consciously at who's around you because I'm telling you, it could be somebody else. But the reason you feel it is because your third eye is waking up. It's already activated. It could even be fully in alignment. It's just you might get headaches and you think it's you and your third eye. It's really just someone else. Wow, it's a deep message. Oh my God, I do have a migraine though. So let's keep going. We have the cards that you chose, pleasure and kind compliment. So I'm hearing it was my pleasure. It was my pleasure. It was my pleasure. Kind compliment. That might be your love language. Maybe you love words of affirmation. You love people telling you like, oh, that was really great. I loved the way that you did that. Like, you know what I mean? Activation, bro. Did I not just say that? I'm pretty fucking sure I did. Dude, and look at this says emergence and it's it's um her pineal gland there bro i just said you're literally activating your pineal gland no shit i literally said that okay so that's confirmation thank you spirit um i forgot to throw some cards for you guys before i went into this so what do you need to hear right now healing you're a healer like you're a shaman for sure for sure protection i think that you're gonna learn a new um protection technique to protect yourself from other people and their feelings. It's not even feeling so much. It's like it's actual ailments or it's like they're, they're, mm, yeah. It's ailments is what it is. Yeah, I, you, you might have people come to you and be like, God, I feel so nauseous. Or, and then you're like, yeah, I feel that too. Or something, you know, or wow, I just, 
if you ever have asked somebody like, do you have a headache? And it was right on the money. I feel like you guys are so good at, um, at picking up on people's ailments, really. You need more confidence in this because you guys are really good at that. Okay, it's like, you're a shaman. You're a healer, for sure, pile three. Oh my God, for sure. What do you need to hear? You're a fucking healer. Um, you're something about 18, could be 18 years old or born on the 18th or something. New beginnings. What new beginning is this? Dreams. I actually am hearing, you guys are already pretty well off or you're doing something that you're pretty okay at, but it's like, you're getting a renewed sense of purpose to go for like a huge new chapter in your life. It's big. Whatever it is, it's big. I saw 444 on the clock. It's huge. And I'm hearing people are going to start telling you like, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you're going to say, it's my pleasure. Like there's something about you manifesting this next phase in your business or in your, yeah, I feel like you're already a healer. So yeah. Yeah. This is like a business thing, I think for some of you. What is that? You be 29 years old? I'm not, I'm not sure. What am I getting? I just looked at my ring finger like there should have been a ring on it. <laughs> I don't know why I'm not married. I just, I saw it like, you might even get married soon. New beginnings. I think this, this is, this is, there's much to be discussed in pile three, but one of the things that I'm getting is you're going to have the ambition to chase your dreams, your wildest dreams, and that shit is going to actually happen. You're going to be one of very few people that you know that are chasing your dreams and actually having it be successful. Three of pentacles. I got the three of pentacles in every reading, which it's a collective thing, so I get it. I get it. It's a collective uh, thing going on right now, which is super cool. Everybody's collaborating with one another, working together on projects. Super cool, super cool. However, yours feels a little different, though. Why? Cause you already work with people. You already work with people. That's why it feels different. This is like a different type of collective. This is like a different, it's like an upgrade in your clientele. No offense to your current clientele, but it's like an upgrade. You're leaving one clientele and going into another. Nine of cops, beach. And you can look so happy. You can look so happy soon. I'm hearing don't let that, don't let that dissuade you, you know, because sometimes when you get really happy and you're still around people who are, are not, um, you know, they, they go for your jugular, but I don't feel like pile three. That's going to be a problem because I think you're so spiritually protected. You're like, girl, I've been running this show for years. I got it. I got it. I always hate it when people say new levels, new devils anyway. Wow. Three of cups. I just heard it. I heard new levels, new devils, but I don't believe in it. I don't. And I'm going to tell you why, because I think that you can get to a point where you are mastered. You've mastered yourself so well that there are no new devils. You're like, I've already been the devil in my own life. I, I fucking conquered it. There's new levels and new highs. There's no new lows. That's, you know what I'm saying? Look at this, the fool. You can't make it up. Hi, 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 the fool. It's like higher, higher, higher. You are literally bringing in a brand new collective for your healing work. Okay, shamanism, I'm hearing. Somebody here is definitely um, um, a reader, a healer. You're bringing in a brand new collective, okay? An octave above. Dude, I, you can't make it up. The fool just came out again, again, again. Take the risk, okay? Take the leap of faith because this is, this is gonna really pan out for you, okay? Um, did somebody just burn something on the stove? Because I smelled um, burnt something <laughs> at first um, and I just heard pan. I don't know what that, <laughs> um, you might work with pan, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, you could totally work with pan is what I'm getting. I don't know, I don't really, work with pan the the god the i don't i'm not even sure what it is i'm sorry forgive my ignorance but you might you might be working with like new deities that might be a thing too you're working with new deities soon i heard divine orchestration divine orchestration you're like tuning into a collective that works with the same deity what no shit no shit. I just got a download. So crazy. This is why when I, okay, I, the download is that when I was a Christian, I'd be around people who, you know, we all loved and worshiped Jesus, right? But I, I don't have a denomination now. So, I mean, I kind of, I just, I love everybody who has like any deity, you know? But I, I literally just saw a compliment. Oh my God, a kind compliment. They came on my channel yesterday when I talked about how I love Lucifer. And 
people always get it twisted. Religion does a great job at scaring people into thinking Lucifer is the devil. But point is, point is, I got a kind compliment from someone. You know who you are, and I so hope you chose this pile. Anyway, I thank you so much for that, by the way. And it was, um, yeah, like I worship Lucifer, or um, he's my deity, or something like that. It, it, it's strange, but it's like you're going to be bringing in people who are into something different than you've ever been into because you're discovering something new that you've never been into before. Um, I've always loved Lucifer because I realized Lucifer is, well, the light bringer, I, I, whatever, long story. Um, Lucifer is not the devil, in my opinion. Take it or leave it, don't care. Point is, this is like you bringing in a new collective because you start accepting the same thing like I just did. Like I was like, yeah, no, I know I'm gonna be hated for believing and, and loving Lucifer. I don't worship him, I just love him. I don't worship Jesus. I just love Jesus. I, I, I don't, I don't worship Buddha. I love Buddha. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not, it's not anything that, um, is alarming to me. It's alarming to a lot of people who unsubscribed, which is great. That was the whole point. Speak your truth. And everybody who doesn't love it, they will leave. They will have to, they'll have to flee. And I feel like it's a spiritual community that you got going on. You're like building something, building a community of like-minded people. And it's like, you're about to express who you truly are, like what you really, really believe. And you're bringing in people who believe in that same shit. Like, it's amazing. It really is amazing here. Mm -hmm. Um, wow. And spirit just showed me too, that I had all the two piles I did before, I had already laid out the cards and um, my nose is itching too. So you might be a channel. You might be a channel because I normally don't get an itchy nose when I channel. Not really, not that often. I laid out all the cards in the other piles and this one I totally forgot. Brain fart. I forgot to lay out your cards. And I'm almost feeling like if you're a reader or you know, you're doing some, you're doing it more off the cuff. You're doing it more like um, fun and spontaneous and that's gonna be so much more successful for you. It's bringing in a lot more fun and spontaneity and like, humor and enjoyment and it's like let's just do it you know let's just see where it goes where it takes us and this is like this is what's really bringing in this like new energy for you this is a really great energy to have guys and you as a reader should definitely know that so you're like an octave you're bringing in an octave above a collective that you were in before because you've just owned your truth by owning your truth you're meeting other people who are owning their truth too it's like that woman who said like yeah no i love lucifer too wait what people say that out loud Really? I mean, the church told me to hate anybody that was even talking about Lucifer, <laughs> let alone say out loud boldly uh, in front of the whole world, like, I love Lucifer. So, so this person who, like, mirrored that back to me, like, yeah, no, they even subscribed to my Patreon. So, I mean, it's like that. It's like, wow, thank you so much, by the way. Um, it was, like, it was really incredible to see that support. And, and it's like, if you have been told your whole life that something about you is taboo, you'll go your whole life finding other people who think something of them is taboo and they can't really open up themselves freely 100% unconditionally to you in a partnership in a collaboration even as clientele um one thing I noticed when doing readings in the beginning of my journey and now it's a lot different they open up so much more now because well they trust me before I didn't trust myself so people would be like they'd give me cryptic messages or they'd give me like hey tell me how MC feels about me and I'm like MC give me the friggin' first name and they'd be like no you can have MC listen, listen, it's an energy exchange. Like if you don't want to give me that energy, I'm not giving you my energy <laughs> period point blank. When I started showing the universe that I was serious about that by refunding people that wouldn't open up, that's how I elevated to the next octave. I'm telling you, that's what's about to happen to you. It's like, you need to show the universe that you're serious about bringing in this new, I'm hearing fantastical dream. It's a fantastical dream. It's like, it's really wild and out there, but it's going to work. Eight of wands girl is going to work. Okay. And it's going to happen a lot faster than you think too. Need more than eight of ones. I hear your energy is going to be so much more laser focused on only those that give to you. Only those that are around you. Yeah. Not people who are uncertain about you. There it is. There it is. Only people that have your best interest and are like, ah, no, I get it. I vibe. I vibe with pile three. What's eight of ones? I vibe. I like it. I dig it. I like it. <laughs> I'm getting that seven ring. Oh, the rings. Guys, somebody's getting married soon. Oh my God. Higher five cross job. I'm done. <gasps> that literally looks like a fucking ring on a finger. I don't know. It did to me. It did. I, I, okay. Listen, higher five. You can't make this shit up. Thank you, Jesus. You literally can't. You literally can't make it up. You're about to be married. You're getting married. Maybe to a Taurus. You could be an Aries, a Taurus. That's all I see, really. Um, but yeah, guys, you could be getting married. 
put a ring on, ring ring on it. Ooh, what am I getting? I'm also getting, um, yeah, that Seven Ring song by Ariana Grande, I love it. When I'm listening to her in the bathroom, I'm like, I'm a superhero, you know what I mean? I'm like shopping at Versace and stuff when she's like, I see it, I want it, I see it, I like it, I want it, I got it. Okay, queen, yes, that's what I'm saying. Like you guys are gonna be living that lifestyle very soon because I feel like you're putting your energy only towards those projects that you really feel are near and dear to your heart. Like that's it, like that's it. You're done wasting time. Like you're done wasting time. I heard something really, um, what did I hear? I heard somebody say, your focus of intention is your currency. I think it was Naya. I love her on YouTube. Um, I don't normally promote channels, but I don't know. I'm not sure even anymore, but, but I, I do listen to her once in a while and I hear her say things like, your currency now is your focus. Where's your focus going? And you're like, I'm done with people. I'm just done. I'm done. I'm bringing in the right ones and that's it. And you're going to be married too soon. Guys, 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 crazy. What did I just hear? Her Gilbert? Is that a name? Is somebody named Gilbert for real though? Because I, I did hear that. Um, I don't know. Do people name their kids Gilbert anymore? I don't know. What else do we have? You guys are so fun. I just love sitting in this energy. I just kind of want to sit here for like the next 50 years. So just let me. Let's just see if I can get anything else. Yeah, that's another thing too. So Spirit is showing me that if you're a reader, you're going to feel when the energy is off and you're going to pull your energy back and be like, okay, that's it. End of reading. Bye guys. Like, it's just going to be so easy. So seamless. Um, you're definitely a reader is what I'm getting or a healer here. And Chaz says, you're getting married, boo. You're getting married, doll. you get married. You're literally getting married. You cannot make that shit up. I said, that's the ring. And there it is. <gasps> With the four of wands, the marriage card. Oh, congratulations. Here it comes back. What's this dream card then? This dream might be somebody else dreaming of you. Seven of Swords. Page of Wands. I heard somebody got bad advice about you. Bad. She's the witch, by the way. I feel like you're very much a healer and she's in reverse. I feel somebody got bad. Somebody got bad advice from someone about you. It was a lie. I heard it was a lie from the motherfucking devil. <laughs> but it was a lie about you and that you're like greedy or t you're like a what are your floozy? Is that even a thing? Gilbert floozy? I don't know what we're talking about anymore. That you're a floozy. That you're a floozy. You're easy. They got... Yeah, they were told that you're a floozy is what I'm hearing. What the hell? I don't think they literally said the word floozy, but they could have, you know, just loose. What is all these words? This person's like from the 1920s or something. Floozy. Yeah, they were told something bad about you. And now... Now they're defending you. Now they're protecting you. Now they're starting to see that this person had no idea what they were talking about. Knight of Swords, it came in really fast, charged energy. Like people were like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Did you see her? She does this. You know, you know. And now they're like, no, I'm going to think first before I start believing people in their stupid idiocracies. I'll have to see it. Any other message? Oh, I just love you guys so much. Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. We just have the Ten of Pentacles. My God. Guys, this new energy, bro. This new, like, whatever you're doing, keep doing it because you're about to bring in money. Like, you're about to bring in money, okay? In your healing business is what I'm getting. Um, how are they bringing in money in their healing business? One more card. Now is a lucky time. Rabbit spirit. It's time for a treat. You're going to be, like, just treated different. It's going to be easier. Everything's just going to be easier. Everything's going to be sweeter is what I heard. You guys could have just done like a, a, um, 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 a honey a honey jar or something. I'm not sure. Um, but you're, everything's going to be sweeter. It's just going to feel better. It's going to feel better. It's going to feel so much easier, bro. <sighs> yep, that's all I got. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. Welcome to your reading. Let's find out, pal, for what you need to hear right now. I feel like I'm going to burp, but I'm not sure. <laughs> you ever have one of those? It's like stuck so, so right here. Okay, Amazonite pile four. I discovered this silver deposit. I don't know what that is. It looks silver to me. I don't know. Maybe it's not. I'm sure it's not. But I, I noticed this the other day. And I'm like, wow. I'm sitting on like 15 cents here. Incredible. Let's see. We have boundaries for you, your overall card, with the two hidden cards, Inspiration, Divine Feminine. Oh, I heard your boundaries are... Oh, you're inspiring divine feminines right now. You know what's so funny? 
I ended pile three so abruptly. I was like, okay, gotta go guys, bye. Then the trash guy started like clanging and, and banging and I'm like, oh wow, that was perfect timing. And it's like, whatever you're doing right now, you're doing it in perfect timing. It's perfect alignment. It's like when something doesn't feel right, stop doing it. When something feels right, start doing it. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're actually inspiring a lot of people. A lot of divine feminines right now with your boundaries too. You, you need to know this. Like you are some sort of, I heard life coach. You could be a life coach. Um, you're really, wow, you're a motivator. You're a motivational speaker. I'm hearing empowerment. Like you're empowering these women to really draw boundaries in some way. Let's see. Justice. Could even be in like divorce court or something with like moving on from relationships. Libra season for you is really good. Why is this? Five of swords. Why? Ace of, oh, okay. Well, it's, it's, it's not a great problem to have, but it looks like your business is going to be booming because a lot of people are going through divorce right now. <laughs> I mean, that's not funny. You know, I hate, I, I went through divorce. I fucking hated it. But justice here is like people are leaving toxic things and they're coming to you as a coach right now. I'm hearing it's going to really, it's going to like really, um, help motivate and inspire you as well at how good you are at manifesting things. Manifesting what? Ooh, the champion. And I'm actually getting a move, but I'm also getting a sexy, sexy someone. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you guys, your boundaries are so good that you literally have love coming in if, if you're not already in a partnership. Because I actually feel like you might already be in something. You're going to inspire people too with this connection, okay? It's what I hear. Oh, girl, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Knight of Cups, Two of Cups. Girl, I will never, ever doubt my intuition ever, ever in a million years, ever. Ever. I'm just past that point. I think you're past that point. Whew. Child, this person is so into you, girl. It's drill worthy. Okay, they, they, they like basically hyperventilate over your ass. Okay, two of cups, the knight of cups, king of cups. When I hear the messages coming through this, holy mother of God, this person, babe, babe, it's a crime. Like it should be a crime, okay? Do you know how many people you're gonna inspire? Not only are you drawing boundaries, that's step one. Step two, accepting this love. But what I'm hearing is this hunka hunka burning love is coming in because of your boundaries that are hella good, hella good. Libra season looks really fucking good for you. Uh, give me more on the move here though. Find table space, say your social graces, bow your head, that pie is here. You and I were pioneers. You and this person are pioneers. They think that, oh my God, they think that you are, <sighs> Honey, it's something fierce. It's something fierce. They think that you're the divine feminine. They're pious here. You and I were pioneers. Okay, so that song, um, dude, this is just crazy. What is that song called? I don't know. It's um, Wild Things. Something where the wild things are. Okay, listen. Listen. You're about to be known. You and this person are pioneers, and you're about to be known for being wild pioneers, I'm hearing. Wild pioneers. Frontier. I'm hearing like this person wants to push the frontier. What, what, what am I hearing? Ooh, I'm hearing crazy shit. I don't know. It could be a Gemini, a Libra, or a Taurus. Or a sexy something or other with that water here. What is that, babe? Whoever this King of Cups is, is doing it for me. Okay, they are doing it for me, girl. I feel it in all my chakras right now. Mm. I just heard sexy Scorp. That's what I heard. It's a, it's a Scorpio for some of you. Can you believe you have justice twice though? So literally what you're doing is you're inspiring people to leave really bad toxic bullshit. And the way you're doing this is by getting into a really healthy dynamic. It's like, you're literally gonna be showing people what's not worth fighting for and what is worth fighting for. And you are inspired. I'm hearing you're inspiring like tons of people. 12,000 maybe? 12,000 people? I don't know. Five of Swords and the Queen of Cups. You are this person's divine match, bro. This is, I'm about to like, I feel like I'm gonna pee my pants because I'm so excited for you. I <laughs> know it's just a full bladder. I didn't pee before I did this. Even my right leg is shaking. Like I really do have to tinkle winkle, but I am not gonna stop this rating. It is too magical and it's too divine. I'm not stopping this. I feel like you guys aren't stopping this either. You're like, shit, come on in, the sexy scorp, come on in. Like, ooh, the water is nice. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a water sign too. Like this person, oh my gosh, babe, they do it for you though. This is such a great energy. Guys, okay, so tell me why. Tell me why we had the justice card for how you're helping motivate people right now and then tell me why. Tell me why you also have the five of swords again. Please, tell me. Because you and I, we're pioneers. We make our own rules, our own. 
Let them sell what they are selling. There's no buyers here. I don't know the I don't know the lyrics. Let them sell what they are selling because there's no buyers here. You you guys might even be causing a lot of oh shit. That's what it is too. You both are doing this. You're mirroring each other. Your side is triggered, right? It's giving me Romeo and Juliet vibes here. You got the 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 two opposing sides. You got your side causing war, and you got their side causing war, and you're just both in the middle chilling, drinking in that water. Like okay, okay, call me. Oh, I love it. Cause you and I were pioneers. We make our own rules, our own. Oh, what am I getting? You're like the silver in this stone. Like you're just like a hidden surprise kind of like a, like a hidden gem, but it's like, is that silver? Probably not. Maybe though, maybe it is. Um, Listen, what the fun? Pile four, what do you need to know? My God, this person drools over you. Honey, this person. Oh my God, I just, no. Spirit, I need you to tell me that. I need to know. I, I have chills. I think it's a yes. I need, I, I have chills. I have chills. I have chills on my. I need, I need, okay, before I even say it, guys, because some of you, you are my constant obsession. We are magic, girl. I fucking told you. I told you, like, listen, I heard, I just need one, please, on that, on the, on the M word, on the M word that I heard, please, spirit, not magic, I heard another M word. <gasps> it is, it is, it literally thing is, I'm having sex dreams about you, girl, I heard my, I know you know what I heard. I know you know what I heard. I heard it. I think you guys are, oh my God. You guys are actually in somebody's life, in their dreams. Because they're having, they're having the, you know, you know, the thing. They're doing the thing. Oh my God, this one. Y'all about to be in a long-term commitment. Why do I keep speaking in a Southern draw? Like sometimes, does your person live in like the South? Of the states in the states because I'm like I sometimes like just I don't even know man I like start talking to myself like I know what I'm talking about I can't even concentrate on anything else bro they are thinking about your body your body oh boy oh boy oh boy oh I can't stand this oh my god honey this person won't shoot it should be a crime it should be a crime is what it should be X is jealous I'm here and I'm running away from my ex. I'm running away from my ex because that shit's sad and pathetic. I didn't hear they call them sad and pathetic, but it's sad and pathetic, okay? They're running away from their ex right towards you. And I think that that's why you guys have these two wars going on. You got the five of swords on this side, five of swords on this time. It's like, it's like the, the Capulet and the, you know, the other, the other clan. I can't remember what it is in Romeo and Juliet. Anyway, they're running away from their ex like the plague. I'm here and they're running away from their ex like they are dangerous because they are. Cause you and I were pioneers. We make our own rules, our own. Something, so, so, mm -hmm. so gather around us. Something, 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 something. You are all I want forever. Damn, damn straight, damn straight, Pio Four. You're all I want forever. This person is so into your divine femininity and I'm also hearing the way that you inspire others. Women, I hear you inspire women and this person is pleased. I just heard so pleased with that pleased wow you can't even make it up guys you literally had the runner card and now you have no chaser no they're saying no to the chaser the one running after them i'm literally you just got no and chaser this one i'm getting no to chasers and they don't want they want you because you're not a chaser are you ready for commitment didn't i just say y'all about to be in a long-term commitment with this person so rather rather gather around the or something shit i don't know no one loves me like you do just came up what do you need to know Codependency, you can't make that shit up. This person was codependent on somebody else or they were, co yes, I'm dealing with a lot of issues. They were both kind of codependent on each other, but I'm hearing, ah, uh, we're done, we're done. Like it's a, it's a thing of the past. It's a thing of the past and it will not last. What is it with this accent? Your person could be, honey, they have some feelings. Okay, first of all, this codependency, they know is a devil and they don't want that. They really want healthy with you, but, but I'm getting like, oh my God, they, Honey, honey, honey. 
bro, the way they feel you. Oh my God, the way they... I was gonna say the way they feel for you, but I said the way they feel you, okay? Totally happened. I also got the Amazonite here. Oh man, it's something fierce though, this one. Let me get more. Everyone wants you, but I want you most. I heard, but trust me, I want you most. I can do it better. I can do it better. So if you had somebody, guys, and I feel like the five of swords is like somebody else invading your bubble, trying to get you out of alignment with this person. I'm hearing, I can do it better. Trust me. Everyone may want you, but I want you the most. Trust that. This person, they are never going to give you up ever, 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 ever. I'm different from the rest and I will prove it to you dealing with my ex. I will show you. I will show you that it's over. I'm different and I'm going to show you. Oh shit. Mm-mm. Honey, this man does it for me. Whoever this is. I need to breathe. I need to breathe. I need to breathe. Oh, boy. You know what I'm hearing? I literally heard the M word. Okay. I'll let you do with that what you may. I heard I heard the M word. Okay. From, from this person, they, they do this. They do this sometimes. It's not like an addiction. It's just like sometimes, I guess, once in a while. Um, but I'm hearing like they try not to for a long time. Can you hear me telepathically? Oh my God, you guys, this person. They, I was gonna say they're so in love with you and there it is, I love you. I just can't, I just can't. I, it, it is just something fierce. This one has me like in my like sexy divine feminine energy right now, like claw me. <laughs> like all of a sudden I just feel super beautiful and super, mm, just, you know, oh, what's this? Can you hear my thoughts? Uh, yes, the answer is yes, I can hear your thoughts right now and your thoughts are dirty okay hidden feelings <laughs> exactly okay your person um honey 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 i didn't intend for this to be an 18 plus so i'm not even going into it but babe mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. no way you are this beautiful you see you see i told you i get into like this beautiful vibe like i was hearing they tried to take it slow for a really really for a really a really long time and now they can't oh I'm hearing some things and I don't know honey it's this is going this is going a little a little intense it'll be okay I promise amazing first date you're my constant obsession came out again they obsess I think about the first date like I don't know I don't know you guys this is this is this is too juicy. I kind of just want to sit here for a second and like really take it in though. It's like a treat. It's like a treat. Okay. I mean, look, I read a lot of energies today. I feel like I deserve this. <laughs> I give myself permission. Okay. To enjoy it. I think like you guys are at that point where you're like, I just want to enjoy it too, Jenna. Like, I think it's great. I think it's great. This person has a healthy appetite. That's what I'm hearing. A healthy appetite for you, babe. Um, there always has to be a but though. I do want to talk to you about something going on in this connection. Definitely a water sign coming through. Um, what? What spirit? What do they need to know? Please. I just hear. I can't. I I'm, 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 I'm done. I'm done. Like, I mean, that's what I said though. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And you know what I'm seeing? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So this has taken a turn because this person now has, I heard I crossed the line. I, there's a threshold and I crossed it. I crossed it maybe once, maybe twice. What did I do? What did I do here? Strength. I tried I, for a long time. They're trying to hold it back like as much as possible. They're really trying. They're really trying. They're going to end up manifesting you like this if they're not careful. She. Yes. There it is. Sarah so literally was confirming for me. This is how they think they're going to manifest you too. That is so. God, this person. This is like, this is like. Guys, look at this. You have no and then you have yes. It's like they tried to say no for a really long time. They're trying. They're trying. Oh my God. Guys, this person. This is the most intense um, feeling I think I've felt in a really long time. You guys might be twin flames or something. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Can you tell me more about what you think this connection is for Pile 4? Family issues. 
Do I not say that you guys are being targeted by both sides here? The way you kiss me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's take it slow. Or let's not say we did. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Actually, we should bring Jesus back into this now because it's getting a little steamy and I, I'm on YouTube, so. We have You Are Stunning. I'm sending you love songs. Yeah, that was the song from them. Go listen to it, guys. It's by uh, uh, Alex, Alexia Claire. Sorry, I don't, know, I don't know her name, but it's... Um, round around the That's the third time. Third time. Third time's a charm. Maybe third date's a charm. I don't know. I don't know your life. <laughs> I don't know your life. But this person really wants to know your life. Okay. They want to know a lot of things about you. They want to know a lot. About a lot. Oh my God. It's just something fierce though. I just, girl, I cannot even. I cannot even. I literally called it. I was like, you're a twin flame or something. You could be soulmates with this person. What else? It's too juicy. Are you ready for commitment? Because they want to come in, guys. This person wants to come in like now. Like now, like yesterday, like now. I will travel to be with you. Bro, can you believe it? It came out a, a different time from a different deck. I'm obsessed with you. Dude, this reason is obsessed. Is obsessed. You won't find love, it will find you. They'll be coming to you. I feel like we're in a romantic movie. Oh, didn't I say Romeo and Juliet? I did, I did, I called it. I will travel to be with you. Oh, oh, me horror, me horror. Like, what is this? This is love. This is a lot more than just less. This is, I, you, yeah, this is, this is it. This is it. This is like the one, man. This is the one. Dude, stop though. There is literally an airplane outside my apartment right now. I just heard an airplane outside. I normally don't hear them, which is kind of weird actually now that I think about it. I don't hear them normally here. If you have a fear of flying or something, They'll travel to be with you. Can I get more on that? So rattle for something, 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 something. I will give you the world. And I hear you so loudly. Oh my God, oh my God. What's this? So something, something. Do you sing? I don't know, you might sing or something, guys. This person is in love with you. For those who say we can't sit here, we're flying all by ourselves. Did you have a dream where you were sitting with them somewhere? Or I'm, I'm seeing two people sitting together. Talent. Manifestation. This is, this is literally the magic card for me. They have a real natural talent at manifesting what they want, when they want it. When they want it. Okay. And this person has wanted you for a long time, so... Okay, I am gonna say though, they're really sexually charged because I just heard, so get in my pants. That's what I heard. I don't know if I like that. I don't know, I don't know. Um, it's kind of turning into like obsession. It might be that somebody else around you is trying to hack the reading right now. Um, that might be what you both are experiencing is like lust energies from outside energies kind of messing this up. So this is why they're trying to remain strong and not you know, give in to temptation to lust right now because I think you guys have somebody else around you. Yes, removing toxic situations from my life. Yeah, yeah. They have somebody else. And I don't know. I don't know that that's true, but I did channel it, so they could still. Um, but they're being forced to see the truth of this connection. So I heard contract. You guys are going to sign a new contract. Uh, uh, um, you're signing like a soul contract with this person, or you already have one or something. I don't know if you even have to sign one. Like you just, you just are naturally aligned with this person. Any other message? Bless your heart. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. They're healing, guys. They're on the mend. Okay. Now is a lucky time. Rabbit spirit. Completion. <laughs> I, I, it's sexual. There's a lot of sexual energy right here. So that's why I laugh just because rabbits, you know, rabbits and then completion. Um, so they, they're trying, you know what I mean? They're trying not to do that, to go there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're trying not to, you know what I'm saying? Um, why are you trying? Page of wands. It's something you said to them. 
temperance. Yeah, that you wanted it balanced. You don't want you don't want that. You don't want devil energies. Mm hmm Did somebody from the past might have done that to you or something? Like used sex magic or something? It's something you said to them. You spoke to them. It could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with. Um, and so what are you trying to resist? Yeah, the hangman. You can't make it up. This person is really trying to like be the one that you want. To stop it. Yeah, to stop to. To not use sex magic. Guys, this person is like, I refuse. Although they have done it once or twice, though. They're trying not to. That, you can make it up. I'm hearing abstinent. I'm hearing they're celibate. I'm, they're, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to resist. I'm trying to hold back. You cannot make it up. Literally, because you might have told them that like somebody was inf influencing your life with that. And, and, and they're like, I refuse. I'm not going to be like that. But they have done it a couple times, though. They're trying to resist, though. They're trying their best is what I'm getting, guys. Give this person some credit. Like, they are trying for the amount of lust that they have for you. Like, this person is trying. Okay, they are trying to resist it. They're trying to resist the urge is what I'm hearing. They're trying not to even think of you in that way until it's like time for union. Oh my God. Such a romantic, such a romantic person. Like you have a real heartthrob on your hands. Okay, bio for it. That's what I have for you. If you guys want a personal, all the information's in the description. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.